doesn't match your sound. <gasps> Excuse me? You dress like a drifter, but you sound like a space opera. Complete tonal disconnect. Gives me anxiety. Oh, sorry. That, that was... I'm, I'm usually much more serious. I play folk music. You look like you do. I mean, I'm trying to write for this show. My first show. Uh huh. But after a while, it feels like I'm strumming backwards, and my mind wanders away. Where to? Planets without names. You seem a little lost, kid. Which is good. I find lost young men are in the business of irrational and dangerous decisions. Wouldn't you agree? Not sure about dangerous, but I am irrational. Excellent. I need you to accompany me to the summit on Leaf Road Ridge. I'm going to commit a crime. What's the crime? The best kind. The mysterious kind. Who are you? I'm Violetta. I can assure you there's nothing strange about me at all. Okay. I'll do it. I knew you would. Dope. come here to hang out. At least, they used to. A lot of folks moving on from Calypso.
Where did this come from? After party. For your show. Rami's gonna move the crowd up here after the liquor license scratches. The skiffle band is playing. I'll give him a chance. Plug into the amp on stage. I'll patch you in. Is this your stuff? Of course not. Oh. Stop. No Johnson Vendetti clone folk. Play the stuff from the lookout. Oh, no. Seriously? That's nonsense. Hey! When it comes to nonsense, I'm one of the greats. Play. No, not that one. Play again. Worse than the first one. Bonanza. That's it. What are you taking? Nothing. Vows. Later. Wait, is this Rami's stuff? You're stealing valves from Rami? Yeah, so? He killed a man in Boulder. Everyone says so. Punched him in the neck. I know. I'm Francis. Francis Vendetti. I know who you are, kid. I saw the flyers. There's a very tiny picture of you on it. I never signed off on the flyers. You ever made it to the top? Been too scared to try. Yeah, you could really kill yourself from up here. You shred pretty well for a folk singer. I'm okay. So you're standing in the shadows of Johnson Vendetti, huh? He's my uncle. That must... It ain't so bad. It's just that I guess folks think they know who I am, where I should be going. Hmm. Have you considered becoming someone else entirely? How do you mean? Might tell you about it someday. I gotta scram. Stay weird, kid. Hey, will I see you around town? You know Lightman's in Calypso? In Calypso? There's no such place. Maybe you're not looking hard enough. Someone else in time. Rami finds out I was up here when his gear got stolen. Well, I'd rather not think about it. I'm gonna book it back to town and forget the whole thing. It's a place to hide in the back 
back of your mind It's a soft just like a hummingbird when she touches the sky And you've got nowhere And you don't know just why You're a child of the river coming home tonight Sweet rose of pines Lost in your wind tonight Will you run, baby, run, baby Far from home Where the banks of the rivers are lying Francis, you little bastard, come to me, my love. Goldie, you lose it? Oh, perhaps a bit. I have a ticket to your recital. Got a lot of new material. Probably an album's worth. I think when you're beneath those lights, I might catch a glimpse of my old friend. Oh, Goldie, I don't think... You look like him, you know. Your uncle. I know, Goldie. I really do. I'll see you tomorrow night. I think this place used to be a watchmaker. Undeniably haunted. Ah, yeah! Man, hey, Tao. Yo, I've never seen so many people in town. Yeah, it's horrible. You listen to that record? Yeah. I kind of loved it, actually. Now that surprises me. What with you being a, a serious folk musician? You ever heard of Lightman's? Hmm? Junk sci-fi movie. It, it's not a movie, it's a place. <laughs> it ain't in this dead end. Yeah, can't be serious lately. Keep spacing out. You gotta let it happen, man. Play blues, play funk, blow minds. Yeah, sure. Let's see what I can do. I'll catch you later, Tal. Calypso is usually much quieter. It's quieter each summer, the old folks say. People are here for the anniversary of my uncle's album, Pines. It's kind of like a festival. Everyone's pretty excited. The Johnson Vendetti Festival ends tomorrow night. The finale is at the Salty Seagull, where Johnson Vendetti's nephew will take the stage for the first time. That's me. You avoiding me, son? No, Rami, no. I find you very intimidating. What am I doing, Francis? You... I have no idea. I'm smiling. That's it. And when I'm smiling, you know I don't mean nothing shady or untoward. Despite the gravity of the words I might be speaking. Right. We got a full house tomorrow night. My face is friggin' hurting. I'm smiling so much when I say... You will play songs exclusively from the personal repertoire of your uncle. Or you will misplace teeth. Well then, I suppose... We and make sure you show your face at the after party, huh? Café Cliché. Their pastries are in the shape of a villain's gnarled grin.
Mm, look who's come wandering by. Hey, start blowing trumpets, lads. It's Francis Vendetti. Fern, Lonnie, Angus. Your show is sold out. You know that? Yeah, I saw the posters. Mm, there better be some skiffle in your show, Vendetti, for your sake. I'm just telling you, because I'm your pal. Skiffle? Like jazz with pots and pans? Watch your mouth, Vendetti. The Beatles had skiffle roots. It's coming back in a big way. Hotter than folk music tell you that for free. Hey, old fella. It's a sight, make no mistake. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. Nephew. Sure, whatever. I saw the flyers for his show, man. I probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. I'm sure you're a good kid. But you've got no chance. Of what? Johnson Vendetti was a folk mastermind. Once in a generation. And genius ain't hereditary, kid. Well, always nice to get the thoughts of an industry heavyweight. Plant and page. Expensive books. Cassandra, you're leaving? What happened? Intrigue, laser lights, shops disappearing in the night. I won't put up with it. Who's got lasers? Don't mind all that. I'm leaving. Aren't you sad? Cassandra, I'm devastated. You're just the only shop I bother to steal from. Lies, lies. You can come visit me down the road in Donnybrook. Here, choose a book. From me to you. Sci-fi dribble. Just... Well, aren't you gonna thank me? I'm sorry. I think I was having an epiphany. Well, savor it, my friend. What I wouldn't give for a good epiphany. <laughs> hey, you ever heard of a place called Lightman's? Francis, I don't think you want to be... Actually, no. Never mind. I've never heard of it. Now run along. Go practice. I never recognize anyone who eats here. Probably a hub for time travelers. Um, uh, hello? Francis Vendetti. The pleasure's all mine. Mayor Swartz here. How did you know? I like to have my ear to the ground, my boy. Felt the vibration. Ready for the big show? Uh, it, yeah, just rounding off the corners. Excellent, excellent. The town's counting on you, son. What with businesses closing up, low voter morale, mayoral corruption. Haven't you been the mayor for like 12 years? And a series of unexplainable events that have no basis in fact whatsoever. You can put them right at- Unexplainable events? I shouldn't speak about it over- All I'm saying is this. Your show's important, Vendetti. There's a lot of folks out there counting on you. Wow. Don't cock it up. Thank you.
Hey, Lucy. <sighs> I'm supposed to tell everyone we got Johnson Vendetti's 20th anniversary release of Pines in stock. I've got a copy, Lucy. The folk masterpiece. The voice of an American generation. 12 million copies sold. Okay, yeah. Lucy, you got any records by people pretending to be someone else? I mean, sure. You got Captain Beefheart, legendary Stardust Cowboy. Oh, Hank Williams pretended to be a character called Loop the Drifter. Hank Williams, really? Why would he do that? To say stuff he couldn't say as Hank Williams. Whoa. You okay? Yeah. I keep spacing out. You ever heard of a place called Lightman's? A place called Lightman's? You want me to check out back? Nah, got a feeling you won't find it. You coming to the show? I'll go to the show. Not going to the after party. You don't like the Skiffle Band? They're like Jimmy Page started in Skiffle. Yeah, everyone loves Jimmy for his skiffle. Exactly. Thanks, Lucy. My place, childhood home of Johnson Vendetti. It's a shrine and a tomb. Honey, how was your day? Was everyone excited to see you before the show? Uh, yeah. I'm really excited. Buckaroo? Uh-huh. You don't seem yourself. Don't seem my... I've decided to create the most elaborate stage persona the world has ever seen. Okay. Will you be down for dinner? We're having enchiladas. The boy you loved may already be gone. That's my dad and my uncle. They were really close, Mom says. From the beginning until the end. No one asks me about my dad much. stage, not as myself, but as someone else entirely. Could people believe an alien could play music? Could the radio intercept intergalactic transmit? away from the infinite. On the far side of a thin film of atmosphere lies a tundra beyond the limits of human comprehension. The universe in all its grandeur, its wonder and desolation waits mere miles away. The stairway to the great cosmic symphony is at our feet.
bad news knocks this late. Um, hello? Greetings. Little bee, a pleasant climate here, don't you think? Mild. What? What are you wearing? I am looking for Francis Vendetti. You found him? I am the hypnogogic Zom. I appear tonight as a herald of doom and calamity. The support act on our tour is a replacement is needed. And the captain asked for you by name. Captain? What captain? He calls himself Lightman. Wait, Lightman? You're from Lightman's? Where is it? I it's supposed to be in Calypso, but I've lived here my whole life. There is no such place. Stand extremely still. What? Oh. Does it adhere to your hideous, humanoid arrangement? I'm in love with it. Why are you giving this to me? Is Lightman some kind of alien disco? Hold out your hand. How did... did I do that? Was that me? You're turning into another dimension. Don't stop now. Lightman is waiting on the other side. Hey, wait! What does that mean? How did you organize this?
his way. Make an entrance, baby. <laughs> and don't let no one tell you otherwise. This him? I'm afraid so. Uh, how, uh, how? How did? I heard the word. You got the aura, baby. How did you do that? I is there a crane? No crane. Just we. Are you? Lightman? Jammer of the Glamorgon himself. Now we ain't got much time. I'm about to star in a performance of Colossal Scope and I don't go on without a support act. Never, ever. This is the skinny. Tonight's opening slot has become available. Wait, you want me? I'm supposed to be a serious folk musician. Oh, baby, we'll have you back in time for breakfast. What? Uh, no, I've got my first show tomorrow. I'm in the midst of an existential crisis. I can't just go running off into the night. The night? Baby, we're going way past the night. We're going on a ride across the dilated pupils of the cosmos. Man, you're gonna see flotsam that'll change you forever. Change me forever. Let me give you the first lesson free. This is the musical key. You're all over it like a boat job. Now repeat after me. my notes, but add your own timing, your own rhythm. What do you think, Zom? He'll be dead by dawn. Excellent! You're hired, baby. Follow. Wait. This isn't here? This isn't a thing. It this is an empty warehouse. Young blood, the stuff behind this door is going to blow your mind. Luxury packages. What is this place? Like a travel. The cosmic extra. 
I have never heard of Francis, one little admonition. You need to be cleared with legal, obviously. Obviously. Yeah, image rights, saint, narrative, licensing, insurance, posthumous royalties, as expected. You get all that? Not one bit. Voice signature accepted. Onward! So it's impossible. is to French kiss death. That's a striking visual. Are we gonna French kiss death? Not one day, unfortunately. But you see that door? That's the end of everything you've ever known. Beyond that door lies the cosmic extraordinary. What does that mean? Oh man, that's the great matter between the lobes of the universe. The outside of reality. Often described as the in-between bits. You can't be serious. Oh, you're right. You're right about that. You can't be. Not out here. Could lose what's left of your marbles. What does it look like? Oh, baby, it looks different to everyone. To me? It's a golden staircase woven lightly. Now to you, who knows? There's a lot of that out here, my man. Wait, where are you going? You're on your own, kid. Everyone takes their own road across the cosmic extraordinary. You're looking for the lung. The cosmic lung. What's that? It's home, baby.
Well, if it isn't a fluffy little piece of space dust. You. Whoa. I'm a wonder. No mistake. Are you God? Darling, you are divine. I am not. You know, I did see her once, from a distance. What was it like? She was playing pinball. No way! Way. All the greats are obsessed with pinball. The only reason we created the universe. What do you call yourself? Out here? I'm, not, I'm dabbling with the idea of becoming someone else entirely. My name... It haunts me. In this place, you are the namer of names. But choose wisely. Names can get carried away. What? How they wander off. Begin to breathe. Before you know it, they're on books and banners. Scrawling themselves over manifestos. A name, once weightless, suddenly burdened with the weight of empires. What will you name yourself? And where you headed? The Cosmic One. Really? You're touring with Lightman? Mm -hmm. well, well, if you, you say, say so. so. What happened? Where am I? You're aboard the Cosmic Lung, our vessel across the extraordinary. What does that mean? Francis, does your species gather in caravans of aimless cacophonies? You mean like a music festival? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore, hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. I'll keep that in mind. It's like some far out Hendrix album cover. far out. 
What's up there, lad? I'm just trying to keep my head. Ah, a sensible thing to rather important one's head. No way! There's a whole damn theater in here! Where to? Oh, this song makes me feel like pulling some shapes. Dance complete. I mean, must be performing here. Where to? He's never played a show. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. There has to be. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon. Where are you sending him? Uh, the Heliotroms. Oh, of course the Heliotroms. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the Heliotroms? Ah, Francis! I knew you'd probably make it. The Heliotroms, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamorgon. Wow. What, what's a Glamorgon? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. Man, she really murders my vibe. Now, curtains are approaching. Any questions? What's the Heliotroms uh, venue? More of the whole dimension. Their denizens socially resemble the actor hunter-gatherers of the Philippines. Now, their wealth and standing is determined by the brilliance of their stories. They trade in stories. Oh man, they feed on them. What kind of show is this? Don't know if there's an earthly comparison, young blood. When creatures buy a ticket to the cosmic lung, they're guaranteed a spectacle of unique entertainment. And that's... Well, it ain't you yet. We venture out into wild dimensions. Shred on the edge of cliff slide into amphitheaters. Raise the foundations of reality itself. Then it's all broadcast into the theater. Live, baby. Li Live? Cool. Visit Violetta. She'll get you tuned in. Wait, is there anything else I... Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! No! Can I check your coat? We're at a professional, exceptionally discreet service. You honestly look like you're selling the coats. I'm afraid we're close. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my room. Where to? My guitar. My guitar. Uh, 
no attention to me. Violetta, you gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh, sorry. I'm not looking. What were you thinking, coming out here? This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Hey, I didn't want you for the show. White men did. And only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. For your big show? Oh, crap. I forgot about the show. Listen, Francis. This place, the lung, we put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think I'm gonna hurl. Really connected successfully. We're done. Anything else? What do you do here? The passengers think I'm in maintenance. They can't know otherwise. Know what? That I run this ship. And that I am, without question, the greatest laser artist in the galaxy. Are you serious? That is so far out. Well, wish me luck. Outside the realm of age. Not here, you don't. Look, if it's glam glam juice you want, try downstairs. We don't really cater to kids here. Zom, this is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world. I can only surmise you're enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Cool. What impossible? Did you walk through the Austrian Opera House? I stole. You stole a whole theater? An Opera House? Yeah. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash away with one. I left a paper mache replica in its place. Where to? Okay, quickly now. This is the Grand Theater. Performances are broadcast to the stage here. I'm gonna be broadcast to all these people? Heavens no! This is my stage! They'll play your pish posh in the disco! But no one in Calypso can see the broadcast. They couldn't accidentally tune in? How would I know? Come on, man, follow me! This isn't a traditional performance. See, there's no stage. Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. But there's also stages. You feel me? Not really. What should I play? I've got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. You wear folk like a cheap suit, young blood. You're something else entirely. No time to gab. You're on!
Violetta, this is impossible. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kiddo. Jeez. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, candy in your heels. What am I supposed to do? Head east, into the foothills. You're looking for a creature called Star Gordon. He'll help you find your way back to the lung. You'll need to book through his agent. Is... It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Metal. Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? An emperor of dying stars. Then that's who you must become. Violetta! Damn it! On the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. His rescuers named him Lightman. By the time he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. spot in 1952, Lightman began his legendary Gold Weaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other, a duet with the Glamagon. It was to be the greatest performance in history. Amagon resides in a Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone, but only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. For many, it is a one-way trip. Risking his life and that of his crew, Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53.
it was known of the Glamagon's biology. It is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed and watch it until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. of Lightman and the Glamagon survived the performance. Their duet was heard across dimensions and cemented Lightman's place as one of humankind's seminal artists. In his return, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. The Lung is an entertainment vessel with a rich history, stepping stone for many legendary artists. direction. Grollum, Talent, and Flare. This one... I didn't know you could talk. Oh, I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast... Yeah. Wow. Does a migration always go there and back? Or can it be one way? 
It can be one way. Why? Not planning a return trip? Not as myself, no. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Really? You'd better go straight through. On a gym? Dreadful. Huh? What? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurricane. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. Ugh. An entrance, literal or metaphysical, cannot be undone, Francis. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out? Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive, you lucky duck. to howl from a wild wolf pack. And, of course, you're looking for representation. No. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Uh -oh. Star Gordon? Are you absolutely sure? Well, I need to get back to the Cosmic Lung. Mm, I can understand that, but is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey, fall be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I'd bet my hump.
Dargorgans. Looks like you're in a new park ride. Right? Star Gordon's, the trip of a lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the cart at all times. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Never suited me. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of thing. fly buzzed in here. I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. You friend of Lightman's? Yeah. I am the flamboyant. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic lung. Ah, you got the makings of a story in you. I can smell it. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't we go on a trip together, hmm? You can tell me all about it. Yeah. Where are we going? Oh, to the star. Tell me of your home planet. <laughs>
Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the flamboyant, an entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. I'm manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. I do it all the time. You're from Nesbeam. Still visit when the occasion calls. Tell me about it. Um, sure. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It must have been hard to tell up from down. Up was down three days of the week, as specified by the council. Ah, so it was a... a Kafkaesque upside down. We lived our lives in simulations of increasingly outlandish arrangements. Have a favorite? Probably the one with the puffins. <laughs> Your conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Commanding the Heavy Metal Light Brigade. A heavy metal military unit? Were you in PSYOPs? Let's just say it was the largest array of speakers assembled in the universe. And we haven't heard from them since. Oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night. To drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Stowed away on a combat zeppelin. Sounds dangerous. I was in charge before the zeppelin landed. Dabbled in founding a rogue state. Wasn't my bag. Well, it's not for everyone. Did it change you? Your time on the Zeppelin? Things cannot go back to the way they were. Oh. It's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love, fear. What scares you? What scares me? Uh, hello? Where would I begin? To live beneath a towering shadow? You feel dwarfed by the achievements of others. Yes, but we all have mountains to climb. Several mountains, I guess. Well, it's never too late to toboggan back down and climb another. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. Without grief or grandeur. 
No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. They're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all! <gasps> Hello? Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were going to shoot the coop. Sorry. Yeah, I kind of forgot where I was, what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long... New here, ain't you? The cosmic extraordinary is not linear. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in ribbons. I've never been in a real recording studio. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? Revelation! But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here. Like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magician. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Sure. W wait, what? What happened to these guys? Saw a Glamorgon. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. A Glamorgon? Lightman jammed with a Glamorgon. Yeah, yeah, that's going back. The trick is you have to be more spectacular than the Glamorgon. I've got a Glamorgon of my own. We've all got Glamorgons, I suppose. But for this performance, you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories, and the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Wow.
enjoy the ride. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it. It's always a thrill when someone gets it. I've never experienced anything like it. Maybe you're a little closer to finding the road you ought to be on. Out here, it feels easy, like, like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good, isn't it? I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard, making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. Thanks, Star Gordon. The way back to the Cosmic Lung, it's in the lake. be entertained. I am the Flamboyant from Nesbeam, General of the Heavy Metal Light Brigade. Hmm. We find you initially compelling, mildly spectacular, but no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No, that's... And we must be entertained. Oh, we must be fed! Uh... I let up! Help! Your laser show reminds me of... Lightman. Well then.
modern. Maybe a little fresh, undeniable. It is a gift, and one gift deserves another. Step into the light, and I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa. The known universe? On every spectrum, station, from the greatest metropolis to the... Well, step into the light. That's... pretty heavy. That's enormously heavy. You refuse. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. Back home... People think I'm gonna replace a hero. You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I, I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may haunt your entire life. That trip is a real freak out. Where did everybody go? Blast! Lightning's playing! Lightman must be playing the headline show. He's a wizard! Where to? Wouldn't you do it? Right, the whole project my image thing. It, no one really warned me about that. She was going to broadcast you across the universe. She was going to broadcast my lasers across the universe. Why the hell wouldn't you do it? Because I just know if everyone saw me dressed up playing nonsense. Everyone? You mean Calypso? It, that's everyone I know. Why do you care? What could they possibly think of you? They'll know I'm a sham. That I'm not what I'm supposed to be. That when I said I was a folk musician, I was... You're not Johnson Vendetti. You're a kid. You're not meant to have it all figured out. It was already figured out for me. And I still couldn't make it stick. You see, even when the path is so clear, I am just... Continuously, You could have toured the galaxy. You would have never seen Calypso again. Why wouldn't you do it?
Lightning is returning to the travel gate. He'd like a word. Where to? been a lag in the backing tracks. No one's to blame. How'd the kid do? Trom's offered to project his image across the known universe. Aha! Incredible! What, really? Yep, he turned it down. He did what? Oh, well, of course he, he's an artist, barely in his formative years. The prodigy, a master's apprentice. You know the chance that kid just blew? For us? For me, Mark? My name is- Your name's gonna be nothing if you keep missing your cues. Don't think I haven't noticed. When you're ready for the next show, meet me at the travel gate. Youngblood, what are you doing? What are you- If you don't want any attention, why are you playing guitar? Why are you dancing around? Why are you putting on a show, huh? Because I got lightning in my hands. That's what I like to hear. So come on, tell me, what is it you're afraid of? It's hard to explain. Afraid they'll laugh at you? No. Well, yes, but that's not the biggest part of it. Back home, I mean something there. Some folks have all their hopes caught up in me. Like, I'm gonna bring back something that's lost. Well, baby, sounds like the world's on your shoulders. I thought I'd grow into this folk mastermind. I'm starting to realize that might not be who I am. And it scares me. Young blood, you're never gonna give them what they want. You're probably right. Problem is, you think you've only got two options. Either giving everybody what they want, or failing. You haven't even considered there's a third option after. What's that? Are you an artist? Yes. An artist's job is not to give people what they want, Francis. It's to give people something they could never have imagined. Can I ask you a question? Did you ask me to come out here because of my uncle? Your uncle? Who's your uncle? No one. No one at all. Am I where I'm supposed to be? 
hard to tell. What's your first impression? There's a voice on the wind, a, a tenor, singing about something beautiful, but lost. That's the place. Only stage on this rock is the Lumiere Volante. Jazz club, gaudy, ultra exclusive. You got a plan for that? I got riffs to raise jazz clubs. Electric. And good luck finding the place. What do you mean? It's hidden? Not hidden. But I've never found it in the same place twice. Play there and they'll fly you straight back to the lung. Wait, don't you flake out again. Damn it! 